जश माता जी टू ऑल निर्मल सोल सेट इन कंफर्टेबल वे रिलैक्स योर सेल्फ टेक डीप ब्रीथ होल्ड देन रिलीज रिपीट दिस प्रोसेस फॉर फोर टू फाइव टाइम्स Now keep your attention in your heart. Close your eyes. Pray to mother. Mother, please come in my heart. Please make me stable in my heart. while feeling mother in your heart bow down in mother lotus feet feel mother presence in your heart pray to mother mother please come in my heart Please enlighten my soul with your divine love. Mother, please enlighten my soul. Keep your attention on your soul. Keep your attention on your enlightened soul. only keep your attention on your enlightened soul Now keep your enlightened attention on your muladhar chakra. Enlighten your muladhar, center muladhar. feel by your this enlightened attention muladhar is enlightening now keep your enlightened attention on your swadhisthan feel by your this enlightened attention your swadhisthan chakra is enlightening Now keep your enlightened attention on your navi 
एंड योर होल भविष्य अगर चक्र फील बाय योर दिस एनलाइट एंड अटेंशन योर नाभी एंड भव सागर इज एनलाइटिंग Now keep your attention on your heart chakra. Now keep your enlightened attention on your heart chakra. By your enlightened attention, your heart is also enlightening. Now keep your enlightened attention on your Vishuddhi chakra and enlighten your Vishuddhi Now keep your enlightened attention on your Agya Chakra, Hansa Chakra, and enlighten your Agya Chakra. Now keep your enlightened attention on your sahasrar. Keep your enlightened attention on thousand petals of your sahasrar. Feel by this enlightened attention, by the light of soul. all petals of your sahasra is enlightening keep your attention on your thousand petals of sahasra that is enlightening by the light of soul by your enlightened attention हम वली प्रे टू मदर मदर प्लीज मेक मी कलेक्टिव विद योर विराट स्वरूपा थ्रू माई सहस्त्रार प्लीज एनलाइट इन माई सहस्त्रार Only keep your attention on your sahasrar. 
in the form of vibration, Param Chaitanya, feel Mother's Divine Love. Pray to Mother, Mother, my Sahastra is your place. Please come on my Sahastra. Please make me stable on my Sahastra. Only keep your attention on your Sahastra. And feel Mother's divine love on your Sestra. Jai Shri Mataji. Jai Shri Mataji. So here what happens that when the Kundalini rises, she, when she goes to the Agya Chakra, which represents, as you say, the third eye, whatever you may call it, it is between the optic chasma and it looks after the pituitary and the pineal body. And as a result, we have developed two institutions called ego and superego. The ego is the one which tells us, I have done it, I am doing this. Both these institutions are sucked in by the enlightenment of this center. And that's how the thing opens out. And all your karmas are sucked in. So there's no problem of karmas. Only human beings think think that they are doing karmas, animals don't. They have no sense of sin or anything. They are completely under the bondage of God. So in Sanskrit they are called as Pashu, means under the bondage. But we are the ones, we have got freedom. And that's why we think that we have done this and we have done that. And we should not do this, we should not do that. But when the Kundalini rises and she awakens the center, then both these things are sucked in. And when they are sucked in, then you do not do any karmas anymore. You just are in a karma. You do everything. I mean, I, I travel, you know, such a lot, and I have a family, and everything is there. But it's just I'm happening. I'm just seeing it. I'm not doing anything as such. So when you are also awakened, there's uh, no obligation. It's just happening. It is so. Is, uh, is here where we should understand the, this center uh, is bestowed upon by the great life of Christ. Christ is there and they said that He died for our sins, he died for our karmas, is a fact. Because when He is awakened, these two institutions are pulled in, inside, and you get your Kundalini out there, it opens out, and this bone, which has been calcified, opens out and the Kundalini pierces through. And this is what it is that He died for our sins. But still the theory is uh, extended that we must suffer. Why should we suffer? He has suffered for us already. And is already written by Thomas, who was traveling to India via uh, Egypt, where he wrote the treatise and uh, he said, uh, that uh, why should we suffer? Christ has already suffered for us. And he's talked everything about Sahaja Yoga. He said it is an experience of self-realization and everything. And that book now is out in England. After 48 year, years, they could uh, decode the whole thing which was found about 48 years back in Egypt. And is out now and is beautiful Gnostics is the name of the book. Uh, but. Uh, is not so much appreciated by some of the people because it challenges the theories uh, of sufferings and confessions and all this nonsense. Me or you? You, you cannot awaken yourself. Uh, you see, you have to have an enlightened candle to enlighten another candle. This candle, which is not enlightened, cannot enlighten itself. But there's no obligation. 
but you can correct. Once it is awakened, you can correct it, you can develop it. First only few hair-like strands of this energy come up and open the fontanelle bone area and then this flow of rue starts flowing on you and it relaxes more of the centers, so more of these strands start coming up. So you can develop it at your will by understanding it, but you cannot enlighten yourself by yourself. because it's not Sahaja meditation. All other meditations are artificial. You, be, you are in meditation when you are in such. Unless and until Kundalini is awakened and you are one with the Divine Power, still thinking all the time, how can you stop thinking? There is one thought that rises and another thought that falls off. Again another thought comes up and it falls off. It goes on like this and we are dancing on the cusp of these thoughts. In between the thought there's a little space called as Vilamba, is the present. Either we are in the past or in the future. But that is only possible when the Kundalini comes up, then these thoughts become more lean and there's a bigger space left and you remain in thoughtless awareness. And that is how it works out. 